What is going on lads, Tom here and welcome to episode 5 of Teaching Torres. Before we get into today's episode, I just want to say thank you for 3,000 subscribers. Um, I hit it early this morning, so really, really appreciate all 3,000 of you being here. But we'll get into today's video and as you can see, we come up against this guy. Now this guy has an amazing team. He's got three informs, he's got Falcao, Urzil, Iniesta, Johar, Mascherano. And I was really intimidated and it took to the 23rd minute for him to score with Tevez. And at this point, I thought I really wasn't going to come back from this. And this would be the first loss of the series. But um, you'll see in just a minute that just after that, in around about the 26th minute, Torres just powering it into the top left. And we are actually equal again. And in the 27th minute at one all. Um, and at this point, I, th I realised that the guy was actually quite bad at FIFA. He does have a good team, but he's not very good at the game. And the 30th minute, not long after the first goal of ours, we come at back and make it 2-1. And then in the 42nd minute, we make it 3-1 with Francisco Sandaza, absolutely beastly striker. Managed to power it past the keeper, 43rd minute and 3-1. But then just before half-time, he manages to pull one back and we go in at half-time at 3-2. Now, at this point, I thought maybe the comeback was on for him but then after a little bit of skilling around that player and Francisco Sandaza receiving the cross and headering it in 50 minutes in and it is 4-1 uh, 4-2 sorry and then Francisco Sandaza using his strength to get through but his defender messing up 5-2 Torres 54 minutes and at that point this guy actually rage quits now to make a guy with that team rage quit with my team I thought was actually quite good so I go ahead and upgrade two players because Torres got a hat trick we upgrade this right centre back with Adrian Lopez from the BPL and then we go ahead and upgrade my right mid with another BPL player Shotton from Stoke. Now I've lost a bit of chemistry here but that is because I'm working towards that uh, the BPL team that we need to make the Chelsea team from. So we will be losing a little bit of chemistry over time but we'll be making it back up when we get the full Chelsea team. So we move into the next game and after this game we I was hoping to upgrade and I was hoping to upgrade to something from the BPL once again so we could have more of a BPL team but we come up against a guy with a full Liverpool team now this was a little bit intimidating for me um, I didn't know how good it was going to be but there's quite a few pacey players and quite a few good players in the Liverpool side on FIFA but he, he manages to tramp it in the seventh minute and both of his goals were tramp goals so eight minutes in and he is 1-0 up from a tramp goal and to have to tramp it against a team like mine I thought was quite bad but he gets a lucky lucky chance in the 81st minute to break through and he does actually manage to break through he had a terrible connection and you can see that on the recording it was awful to play but I had so many chances and I was all over him and then he just counter-attacked and 83 minutes in 2-0 up and that is unfortunately how the game ended and that is the first loss of the series um, which I was a little bit disappointed about uh, we did go on an 11 win streak so I was really happy about that um, I'm glad that we went on that win streak but unfortunately we did actually end it there so 11 wins and one loss but we go into the next game and I was confident that I could possibly win this and we come up against another guy with a majority of a Liverpool team and some people like Walcott he had some bad chemistry but in the ninth minute he goes through with storage the transferred storage and scores a goal but we pull it back in the 13th minute with a beautiful header from Adrian Lopez just smacking it in on his first or second game in the club and he's already scored but Francisco Sanzaza breaking through with that pace Marino just popping it in with a cheeky little finesse 45 minutes in and it is 2-1 to us but as you can see in the 70th minute uh, he does actually manage to push my, push past my defence and get a nice header and equalise to 2 all. and that is how the game ended so I hope you enjoyed this video guys um, leave a like if you did let me know in the comments um, some players that I could possibly upgrade to from the BPL and please do subscribe if you're new around here as I've just hit 3,000 subscribers cheers for watching guys